Oh, when my significant other talks about my sexual performance. Nice and quiet. <laughs> Has to poke me on occasion. Are you still awake? Yeah, yeah. I'm just busy. Everybody, welcome back. Falcon, Death State. So before we start off, two pieces of news that I figured I'd try to introduce. Number one, we're playing with the latest update supply. There was an update a little while, a little while ago. Um, that was followed up by a hotfix because that update kind of broke a few things, so... The update and the hotfix number one are applied to this um, video going forward. Second piece of news is that the developers actually announced the game's going to finally be complete, full release, in roughly, I want to say, towards the end of November or the start of December, if I'm right. Which is kind of like a really weird time to release a, a, a post-apocalyptic zombie survival game, but either way, I'm just excited for the fact that Dead State's going to finally be complete. So I'm not entirely sure when that happens, whether we're going to start new, have a new save file, or if the save's going to be able to carry over. I actually don't mind starting all over just because of the fact that it's going to have everything finally implemented. You know, all those little options in the base that we can't normally do or create or make? Well, all that's going to finally be complete, so I'm really excited about that. So I figure I'd just throw that out there before we started the game here today. We finished up the strip mall area. We're trying to get the hell out of here, which is, you know, understandable. But uh, what happened last time was if we move forward here, because of all the noise that we caused here, there's going to be a zombie mob over here in one of the exits. So we're going to go over to the other side, just because these zombies over here are staring right at us. I'd figure if I could hopefully be really scummy, I want to get Vato Loco into the blue portion and then get the hell out of here with the map. I'm not sure that's going to work or not, but I'm going to give it my best try here. So what we need to do is get him into here and then map feature. Perfect. And, um, oh no! <laughs> oh, it doesn't work! It doesn't work! The game knew I was trying to cheat it. Oh god, can I can I still get out of here in the middle of battle? I hope so. Only one zombie's noticed me so far, so... Oh, uh, whatever, let's see, we have Vic here, right? Alrighty, one second. We just need to make sure that we don't make enough noise, or... Don't make a lot of noise to alert these other guys. So, with Vic, let me see if I could just kind of swap places here really quickly. Alright, this guy's slightly wounded. So, what if we go with Vic and do... By the way, uh, with the update, Trauma's gone now. See, all I have is basic attack, cripple, and wild swing. So, Trauma's gone. I'm not sure where it went, but it's no longer here. Um, let me try... Wild swing is 5 AP. We could do two basic attacks though, right? So yeah, let's stick to basic attack. This is gonna give us, what, chance to hit? 70% chance to hit? Let's try it out. Cool. Good, uh, good hit. That'll get him, that'll get him done. <laughs> that'll get him dead and done. Alrighty, um, let's see. So we got one hit. He is wounded now, instead of just slightly wounded. So with Renee, let's see about swapping out with our boy Max here really quickly. And she also, this trauma needs to go away because it no longer exists. You can't actually swing with trauma anymore. So we could do a basic attack for five. We could do a push for six and wild swing with four. So we're going to have to go with basic attack, right? So let's move forward one. We'll get one swing here. 65% chance to hit. Not really good, but luckily Renee is a baller, so she's not going to miss that. Alrighty, who we have here? We have Max. Big Daddy Max, we're looking for the kill. Hack, I believe, is gone as well, so let me switch over to basic attack. We have basic attack, cripple, wild swing, and hamstring. So what are we looking at here, my boy? My boy Max gets 90% uh, chance to hit, badly wounded. This should be the kill as long as it hits. It does hit. Uh, let me loot this man while we're at it. Alrighty, so that's done with. Now, let me switch over to Vato Loco. Oh, god damn it. Okay, never mind. It's not going to work. They're all coming at me now. Vic, push him off. Good job, Vic. Technically, it was supposed to be Vato Loco's turn, but apparently that was a no-go. Oh, fuck, dude. I gotta fight all these zombies to get out of here, right? I was hoping we could just be sneaking get the fuck out of here without being, like, you know, fighting zombies, but... Let me see. What about Cripple? Cripple's gonna be 70% chance to hit and 3% chance critical attack. A wild swing is, um, 70... Alright, so wild swing is essentially the trauma now. So let's try it out. Good. Good attack. Badly wounded, so as long as you hit this one, we're done with the zombie. Of course, you would have been required to actually hit that to be done with that zombie, so, uh... Well, didn't really work out as much as I thought it would. This guy is undamaged, and then this guy is badly wounded. And we have also slightly wounded. Alright. Let's see about, really quickly... I don't want Renee getting... Jacked up here, so let's have her... Fuck. If I shoot something right now, it's going to alarm all these other guys. If I could just get rid of this dude and these three guys here, I think we could get out of here without any more um, issues. So, what if we did Renee? Jesus. 
undamaged, slightly wounded. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do much with Renee. Let me just move her over here for now. And just kind of have her hang out here. Now we have Max. Big Daddy Max is the guy who's going to get this, get us out of here nice and sound, I would say. So undamaged and slightly wounded, badly wounded. Let's try to swap out over here with um, Vic, number one. This will give us enough to get one more attack, and it should be for the kill. Boom. Max doesn't fuck around, dude. I'm telling you. This guy is the MVP of all time. So he's done with. Let me move him. How's his injuries? 102 out of 130. Okay. Let me move him here. Because then maybe with Vantoloco I could move here. Oh, I can get into the map. <gasps> Leaving now will abandon... Oh, no, no, no. No. They have to be in the exit tile as well. Alrighty, so no. Never mind. They have to get in there too. That would make sense. Understandable. I was trying to cheat the system. I'm aware. How about we swap out with Max? How's Vato Loco doing? 89 out of 90? Eh. Alrighty, let's try it out. Let's swap out. And then we'll take an attack over here. 85. 10% chance to hit. What if we went with Wild Swing? 85, 100% critical chance. Yeah, I might as well do that one. Enough for the kill. I'm happy about that. Ooh, some parts and some candy bars. Alrighty. Now, let's move you over here. Don't attract any more zombies. You zombie, just come over here and attack. Don't start making noises and calling your cohorts for... Oh god, this guy noticed us. Alrighty. Well, we're st we can still get out of here. We just need to get into the exit um, area here, which isn't too bad. We could just need move Vic over here and here. If I wanted to, I could even take a swing, which I probably will. Might as well. Just hit this guy in the back of the head. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Imagine that, just some dude. Sneaking up behind you, hitting you in the back of the head with a fucking police baton. Good thing he's a zombie, or right? else that guy would be have like no severe, severe fucking head trauma right now. Let me move you in here, Renee, and then we will just end a turn, or end your turn anyway. I'll end your turn, baby, if you catch my drift. I'm not even sure what that means. Um, Max gets. Let's see about getting a kill here. Excellent. Some more items, you know, might as well kill these guys, they have some good items on them, so it's not like it's really bothering me too much, and here we go. So everybody's in the exit beacon, if I go into the world map, boom, we get the hell out of here. Let's do that. It is 10.49 a.m. I'm gonna go back home, just because I feel that we should probably drop off what we picked up for one. And number two, I'm interesting about, like, you know, I haven't really necessarily read the update list just yet of the game. From this latest, there's anything new at base now. Maybe some things we could finally create or make. Who knows? So, um, I'm not aware of that. Just because, you know, Falcon can't read, so I can't necessarily read the update list. It's a sad thing to admit, but it's true. Never mind the fact that I'm going to read this to you right now, so don't ever listen to what I say. I'm a fucking liar. Uh, the following resources were stocked for later use. Food 6.5, Luxury Items 23, Parts 3, and Antibiotics 1. Alrighty, and we're back here at base. Everybody's looking all right. I don't think we have too many critical injuries here, so... Um, let me zoom out here a little bit. I went ahead and I upped the... the graphics a little bit. I added some, um, anti-soptric anti filling. <laughs> Which sounds like a fucking dessert, honestly. Um, anti-scopic, whatever the fuck it is, man. I'm terrible when it comes to, like, computer terms and graphical advances and whatnot. So, we're we're done here. The ghost of Renee still continues to haunt us, though. That is for sure. So I can't really do much about that. How you doing here, Elaine? Yeah, cool. Well, she's here as a constant reminder that we let her down. Even though I was really, I was really supportive of that woman. So don't let me, don't let that woman tell you otherwise. Let me really quickly jump over to the stockpile area here. And let's see here. I don't think I really have to do too much of the maneuvering around, but let me cut off here for a second just so you guys don't have to deal with me moving stuff around and dingling around here. Alrighty guys, so we're done here. I just needed to move some stuff into the stockpile and I re-equipped a few people with some better armor. Um, I wasn't aware, but in that last mission we were just at and um, all those people that we killed, a lot of them had riding leathers, which is actually six defense for armor, like body armor, so um... I equip Vato Loco and Max with that because they're kind of like our tanky individuals and then Renee and Vic kind of hang out in the background. So we're done over here. Let's just take a little bit of a nap. And the uh, day, absolutely. Go ahead and end this day here and see what's available to us. Um, fresh food remaining zero. We have 200 preserved food. 
Yesterday's morale total was 921. We had a morale change of 31, so we're up to 948 now. Fuel remaining is actually a problem. We have absolutely no fuel left, which is... Pretty bad, I would say, right? <laughs> I mean, no fuel sounds like a really big issue. Uh, I got something to discuss. What do you got, Vic? I gotta be nice to Vic, by the way. A few comments have been telling me to be nice to him because apparently he has his own posse or some shit, so... Yeah, we have to be pretty cool with Vic. Uh... I'm not even sure what the voices I was doing anymore because it's been a while since I last recorded this time around. So let's, like, let's forego the voices this time around. Uh, folks have been safe here so far, and maybe it's luck, or maybe you know what you're doing, but I don't want to take any chances, so I say we make our safety here a priority. Uh, what do you propose, Vic? We need to beef up our defenses here. Reinforce defense so nothing can get in here. I'm not even talking about the infected or dead or whatever we're calling them. I want that fence strong enough to keep everyone out. We should focus our efforts on securing materials necessary to get it done. Um, I'm pretty sure that the fence is up to 100% already, my friend, but sure, I'll take a look at it again. Uh, leadership. I'm glad you brought this to my attention. Because we do have a few leadership perks going on here. Uh, good. If you need any help getting it built, just let me know. But we need to get it done within the next two weeks. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to give the yard a one silver. Vic leaves. Alrighty. Well, you know, Vic's not a bad guy. He just has a little bit of a, um... You know, Alpha Complex going on, him and Vato are just butting heads over it, but it's understandable. I like how this ghost is over here in the middle of the day, just haunting us, and nobody but I can see it, because apparently it's still haunting my consciousness that I let her down. Uh, reading the comments about Elaine dying, though, I was told that she kind of works mostly as a counseling role, so the only thing she really can do, because she has no stats, like her stats I believe are 1 all around, what she does is actually just counsel people like Max or something like that, and... You could give her, like, a task around the base for, like, morale boost, but that's about it. But, I mean, otherwise, we didn't really lose too much by, you know, her hanging herself. <laughs> I mean, that's what she did, right? Alrighty, so Anita Cassidy to be doing maintenance. We have Davis Gray over here do some hospitality. Doug and Joel are freed up right now, so let's see. Doug. Um, are any of these avail options available? No. So, again, once the game is released soon... All of this shit should become available to us, like building, for instance, like you see all this stuff here where it says, like, you know, you could build it, but it doesn't work. All that's actually started working now, which I'm really excited about. Um, let's see here. So if you were to build, what can you build? See, our fence is already built, and what is this over here? Past time at the shelter, huh? That's a new feature. It's probably from the update as well. Alrighty, so Doug, let's see. If you were to go into canvas, oh, you could make some amazing armor for us, holy shit. Science skill 2 out of 3, science lab, writing letters, and parts 4 or 5. I actually have writing letters, dude. We just need a bit more parts, and you need to go get your science skill up a bit, but if you did, you could actually make this, which is what? Reinforced writing letters. Ooh. Interesting indeed. I'm really excited about the, um, full release, man, I'm telling you right now. Alrighty, so machinist, or machinist. Machinist, that's the right word. Um, uh, nothing over here. Nothing from chemistry. Building, everything that we want built has been built for the most part. Repairing, yeah. Alrighty, so you're fine, just hang out, no job. Must be nice. Joel, what about you, my friend? You could do machinist, but there's nothing for you to build. Ooh, shotgun. Workshop, I actually have a hunting rifle. You need a mechanical skill of three, though, which you only have one right now. Building, eh, uh, nothing that can be built. And repairing, our fence is, um... Our fence is completely built, so yeah, I'm not sure what Vic was talking about. I had that shit under control already, so yeah, no job for you either. My other people are my, you know, party members here, which is fine, so let's get the hell out of here. Nothing really had changed over here, so let's just get going and see about going somewhere else today. Yeah, alrighty, so yeah, we're ready to go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get on here on a mission, see what else we could find. Again, I'm really excited. I'm not sure if the safe file is going to carry over to the full release. I would imagine probably not. But I guess I don't really want it to carry over just because there's so many things from the game when it's complete that we've been missing out on, like building early on and things of that nature. So let's see here. Um, another thing I was told to do is that I should probably check out the church. There's some crazy stuff happening at the church and people have been telling me to check it out, so I will. Apparently it's east of um, the base, so let's just walk over here and see if we could kind of... Oh, old church. There it is. Alrighty. So... This is a few comments that I've been reading. Falcon, check out the church. Careful, so I'm not entirely sure what you guys are sending me out to do or kill myself in the process. Probably. Probably. I wouldn't imagine you guys are fucking trolling me over here, but it's all about um, experimenting either way. Alrighty, so really quickly here, let's uh, let the game settle in with the frames here. Everything good? Alrighty. 
So we're rocking writing letters with Vato and uh, Max Getz over here. Vic's apparently a football player now, and uh, Rene Cass is still part of the SWAT team, apparently. Speaking of um, healing, we should probably... Or not speaking of healing, I'm talking about healing now. Rene should probably... Actually, no, not Rene. Let's have Vato bust a little bit of a heal on Max over here. 125? Cool. Alrighty. I'm not entirely sure why his HP dropped from 130 to 125, and why his um, health's tend to 20, um, purple now? That's weird. Alrighty, whatever. Guess we'll find out. So, let's find out what we have waiting for us in this map over here, see what people are sending me out to do, what kind of trouble I'm gonna, about to walk into here. Um, what's going on over here? Nothing really. Alright. Hmm. I have a house over here. I guess we'll just probably go up and around. I'm going really slowly because I don't want to necessarily... Oh, there's a small toolbox over here. Let's check this out. Ooh, I really hope we can find some gasoline, by the way, because we're out of gasoline, and that worries me. Um, more parts. Screwdriver. Hammer. We'll grab everything over here. MC Hammer. Too legit to quit. Speaking of too legit to quit, I was actually... Um, for Halloween, oddly enough, like all of November, or all of October, I was making it a point with my girlfriend to just watch nothing but, we, it's kind of like a ritual that we do. Like, for all of October, all we do is just watch horror-themed stuff, whether it's a show, movie, whatever have you. On Halloween itself, we ended up watching, like, spooky kids' movies, I guess? Like, we watch Adam's Family, and, um, it's funny because that whole MC Hammer thing I just mentioned right now reminded me of that. Where, um... I think his cousin Ed rolls up in that little car and he's got like, Too legit to quit! Too legit to quit! Playing in the background and I was just kind of like, Oh shit, man. It's my childhood right there. So let's pop this shit open here and speaking of too legit to quit, let's find out if there's any zombies in here. Nothing just yet, huh? Alrighty. I hate this part. Well, what part do you hate? Alrighty, so. We're about to probably hit frames really soon just because of the fact that we're going through hallways and, you know, the AI doesn't like, um, hallways. Starts bugging out a little bit. But we're gonna take this really slowly, carefully, make sure we're not walking into, like, a... a death trap over here. Alrighty. Frames are dropping a little bit, but nothing too bad. Ramen, and we got a can of, um, spaghetti. Ooh, that's some amazing dinner right there, man, as a matter of fact. That's kind of reminding me that I'm a little bit hungry, so for dinner I'm probably thinking of some ramen. Why? Well, because I'm poor, number one, so <laughs> it's really easy to make. And really cheap. Alrighty, so, nothing happening over here. Good. Good. Nice and quiet for now, and that's uh, how I like it. Which, apparently, is what... <laughs> oh, what my significant other talks about my sexual performance. Nice and quiet! <laughs> Has to poke me on occasion. Are you still awake? Yeah, yeah, I'm just busy. <laughs> Never mind. I apologize for my... Weird ramblings over here. That doesn't really happen, I assure you. Oh boy. Alrighty. Never mind. Let's get back into the game here. Cabinet, nothing's going on over here. We have a child's nightstand. What are we gonna find here? Pack of batteries? Alrighty, no no kid is complete without a pack of batteries in her nightstand. You know what? I'm not it, it might sound like I'm being sarcastic about it, but I'm really not being sarcastic. I am being legit. Because um for all we know, this is taking place in the Late 80s, early 90s, and that kid probably needs batteries for his Game Boy. I know I fucking did all the time. Those Game Boys were fucking battery hogs, man. Like, it's like we're talking about like 70 batteries per... Well, not 70. I'm obviously embellishing a little bit here. Alright, so we have a first contact over here. Who is this guy? F uh, failed survivor. Yeah, you failed already. You failed in surviving. You have an unlocked car. Let me check this out before we talk to this um, failed survivor. Not really talk, but get into combat here. Flashlight. Protein bar, soda, chocolate bar, and some rotten fruit. Alrighty, so let me grab this. I'm gonna grab everything but that rotten fruit. How about that? The rotten fruit doesn't really do much for you. If anything, it just causes, like, you know, morale drops back home, so... Let's forget about that. So, oh shit, I'm using... I should be using my boy Max over here... ...to do our one-hit sneak attack kills. There we go. Basic attack. Oh, wow, you survived it. I'm... Honestly, quite surprised. You're almost dead, but you survived it. That's what really matters. I guess we should have probably used trauma. Or not trauma. Trauma's gone now. We should have probably used, um, Wild Swing, I believe it was called now. That's alright, though. So Vic should be able to get the kill here. Wild Swing. Boom. Vic don't fuck around either, man. What do you have? Some 
bullets, I'll take those. Absolutely, I will. Let's end our turn. The zombies over there just kind of looking at me. Ah, oh, what do you have, a looter? Rotten looter. So he died doing what he was best at. So, you know, it's a pretty admirable way to go down, I would imagine. Alrighty, so we're going to try to sneak up on this dude without alerting the other man over there. So if we want to do that, let's make sure that we're not getting too close to the other zombie there. So, Max, let's see here. We're going to go into Wild Swing so we get this one-hit kill, hopefully. Boom! Max, don't fuck around. Grab everything over here. Good. Anything in his car? Not Nothing. Nothing in his pickup either. Alrighty. End our turn here. And let's find out what's waiting for us over on this guy. I guess we're going to try to sneak up on him. Alrighty. Let's go right here. Go into battle mode here. I'm right next to him. Wild swing. Do it. <laughs> Why would you ever remove the fucking um, fire axe from Max, really? You don't do that. It's kind of like spitting in, um, spitting in the wind or pulling on Superman's cape. Is that how the thing goes? Don't spit in the wind. Don't tug on Superman's cape. And you know what? Fuck Superman. I said it. Superman actually kind of bores me. I'm a Batman guy, not because he's grim, dark, and edgy. Not because of that. He's just like, what's cool about Batman to me? He's a common dude. It's like literally a common dude. He's just so well versed in like martial arts and like, you know, smart as fuck. So that's how he beats his opponents, man. That's how he beats Superman a few times. Oh, Fuel, thank God. <laughs> and I was talking about um Batman here for a second, but Fuel kind of takes a little bit of priority right now. Alrighty. There, oh, I see you. I see you. I see you, Chewed Man. Chewbacca Man. Alrighty, so I'm just going to go around here, act like I'm just taking a nice stroll in the park today. Don't mind me, chew dude. Get to you really soon. Just need to get up and around you. Oh, you don't even know what's going to happen to you right now, dude. Max is about to unload on you, my friend. Go for it. Boom. Alrighty. So there's still, um, zombie here, which is probably the one we're dealing with. Um, alrighty, so wild swing as usual. Boom. Motherfucker had no idea what was going to happen to him. We should probably get like a wrecked meter for Max going on over here. Just how many number of times he's just fucking wrecking these zombies in one hit. Needs to happen. Somebody make it happen. Alrighty, so we have homeboy up here. Slightly wounded gutted man. Alright. <clears throat> now is there anything over for us here? Is my real question. Let's go and take a little perusal. A little gander. Just to make sure that we're not leaving anything of importance behind. Maybe a boat or something? I don't know. Why would there be a little boat? Why would there be a boat in this little small pond? It's really beyond me, but whatever, man. Don't even question it. Let's just go for it. Alrighty, so nothing over here. A little bit upsetting. This dude, there's no way we're going to be able to get the drop on him, unfortunately. So we're just going to go in there unless... Wait a minute. Wait just a second. Oh, this ladder's in the way. Aha! Can't get the drop on my ass. Alrighty, so, Max, do your thing. <laughs> ah, so good. And the turn? Alrighty. Now let's pop this door open and see what's waiting for us inside of here. That's the real question. What do we have here? Nothing here, nothing there. Keep going forward. Is there a toolbox here? A workbench. Interesting. What is that all about? Workbench, what do you have for me? More parts? I like it. We actually need a few parts. If we want to build some of these new um, equipment that's available to us, we're going to need some parts other than the scientific skill upgrade as well. Speaking of upgrades, we should look at our stats too. I would imagine that we have probably a few up or a few upgrades now. I just haven't been really been keeping track of that too much. Toolbox. More parts? Good. What is this piece of shit here? Just trash? Alrighty. Have a broom. We have another hammer on the floor. Too legit to quit. Um, let's pop this door open. And in here we find absolutely nothing at all. One more door. Alright, anything here? Doesn't quite seem like it. Alrighty, I think we've cleared this area out as well. So, pretty good stuff. So, that all leaves the uh, church. <laughs> the fucking church is what's left over here. And this is the reason people wanted me to come to the church, to pop this church open. So, here is the uh, moment of truth, I guess. Oh, boy. Is it a good idea to just go in through the front door? Is there, like, a back door somewhere? It's the uh, last thing you want to hear when you're in, a pa in the heat of passion, by the way. 
don't know, baby. Is there a back door somewhere I could just enter from here and be like, you know what? Not really too comfortable with you doing that. Okay. Um, we're going to call an episode here. And we're going to pick up from um, this area next episode. So, is it going to be the untimely Doom of Falcon? Probably. This is probably the reason why people want me to come over here. So, we'll find out what this is all about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I can leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support doesn't mean a lot. Other than that, I will catch you next time.